November is an exciting time for the tech world right now, so today we'll cover some of the hottest tech news that you need to know. Starting off with one of the biggest news right now, especially in Europe, Meta started offering people an ad-free experience on Facebook and Instagram for 9.99 euros, or 12.99 euros if people sign up on their phones. Now, why is Meta doing this? Well, it all comes down to the EU's General Data Protection Regulation, which states that companies should have proper consent from people in order to process their data, and to no surprise, Meta is using our data illegally based on that regulation. And as we already know, Meta's answer to that isn't asking people a question that can be answered by a yes or no. Instead, their move is, nothing much will change, but people who can pay can have a private and ad-free experience. Now the question is this, is that really proper consent? Now, who will possibly pay for this? Well, I know a ton of people who watch videos regularly on Facebook, and I know that some of those people are willing to pay for an uninterrupted watching experience. So, yes, it's a smart business move, and people will gain a benefit from it. But still, it's overpriced at best and exploitative at worst. On the brighter side, the ones who will truly benefit from this are kids and anyone under the age of 18, as they would have an ad-free experience no matter what. Would you pay for an ad-free experience on Facebook and Instagram? Let me know in the comments below. With the release of the iPhone 15 and the new line of M3-powered Macs, Apple has been hot in the news recently. Literally hot, if you also heard about the iPhone 15 overheating issue. But the Apple hype continues today with rumors about the iPhone SE 4. Rumors are swirling that this new model will inherit the sleek design of the iPhone 14, while only featuring a single rear camera setup. It's also said to have an AMOLED display similar, if not the same, as the iPhone XR. With that, we might also see the SE 4 with Face ID over Touch ID. But who knows? Maybe Apple will also integrate the Touch ID in the power button of the SE 4, like with what they did with the iPad. Furthermore, the iPhone SE 4 is also rumored to adopt the action button and USB-C from the iPhone 15. Now, since this is just a rumor, just take it with a pinch of salt, but it sounds like a reasonable move for Apple to make. And it's always nice to see Apple competing in the low-mid-budget range of smartphones. If you want to buy a graphics card for Christmas, you might want to hold off since it's been rumored that NVIDIA will release a line of RTX 40 series Super GPUs. And to solidify the rumors, NVIDIA just recently announced their CES 2024 event in January. Now, why would you want to wait? Well, of course, the new graphics card should have significant performance improvements over normal RTX 40 series GPUs. Or, if you're on a budget, the release of a new line of GPUs will also affect and lower the pricing of existing GPUs. Either way, it's best to wait until January to get a new graphics card. Unless, of course, you get a steal of a deal on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all those upcoming Christmas sales? That's it for today, folks. Now make sure to smash that subscribe button for more weekly tech news and daily tech reviews, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.